Hello, thanks for scanning. Um, my name's David and I have been uh, asked uh, by uh, the sister of Donna, the lovely Donna, um, to bake a few little treats uh, to keep the, uh, the Queen Elizabeth uh, night shift um, going strong uh, during obviously um, uh, an even busier time, I'm sure, uh, for all you guys. Um, before you consume anything, please consult this list of allergens. I don't want to kill anybody, although arguably in the right place um, to, uh, to be dealt with uh, should something go wrong. A um, little story. You saved that finger, or at least the tip of it, um, about nearly 18 years ago now. Uh, and only the only time I've ever had to rely on the, uh, the NHS to look after me um, uh, was then. So uh, thanks for that, um, Southern General, as it was back in the day, you know, old school. Um, today would have been my, uh, my late grandmother's uh, 98th birthday. And um, she was a huge inspiration to me uh, as a child. And um, we, uh, we sadly lost her towards the end of last year. Um, but throughout her 97 and a half years... Uh, she always received such phenomenal care um, from her GPs. Uh, all the care that she ever received um, was just top notch. And uh, obviously that for me um, is, a, is a wonderful thing. Um, she was my inspiration um, probably for baking. Um, by her own admission, uh, she couldn't really cook that well, but she baked a scone like no other. Um, so I've prepared a whole series of little treats here. I don't know what you'll get to see, but the fully comprehensive list um, includes um, the company Mentos, you know, the mint Mentos. They're owned by a Swiss-Italian family. And um, I used to work for one of the guys and his wife was uh, celiac when it suited her. Um, but when I made these cheese scones, for some reason, the gluten didn't affect her. Um, so I thought I'd make a savoury option as a kind of throwback to my uh, my chefing career. Um, so that's what I've done there. So I've, I've made notes because there's quite a few of them. You'll see that. Um, uh, I also used to work for Will Smith. Um, and these are uh, his uh, Madeleines. So they are lemon and poppy seed. Uh, I used to work for uh, the singer Adele, who looks a lot smaller now uh, after uh, I had uh, given her a bit of advice on what to eat or indeed what to not eat. Um, she enjoyed the marshmallows, so there's marshmallows there. Um, I also used to work on a yacht, you can all Google in your break, hopefully, uh, called Motor Yacht Octopus, which is 126 metres. Um, and the brownie recipe that you're eating uh, or going to eat um, cost, we think, around about a quarter of a million euros uh, to actually devise. Um, story for another time but um, I just give the recipe away it'll be on the Instagram somewhere um, I've also made uh, some school canteen shortcake as a, a fond memory for me uh, being at high school um, and I've also it was my friend Lexa's birthday yesterday and in obviously uh, the absence of uh, attending birthday celebrations I have made a, a luscious lemon and spicy ginger cake uh, for you to try on her behalf. Um, I also made a, a nutty phyllo um, apple tart which has a palm oil free uh, nocciatella, nutella type equivalent um, that I've been making during lockdown for uh, for a, a friend who is a single mum with two kids um, who uh, struggles to um, sometimes make good food choices. Um, so there are, there are also videos on how to make that at home for anyone who has obviously the spare time. Um, and um, finally, I've also included um, my, uh, my Balinese banana loaf. My, um, my project is uh, based in East Bali. Um, I wear these t-shirts um, for a reason. We're basically based over here uh, in the island. <clears throat> and um, the concept of vanillaism is to, is to try and help 
Balinese uh, vanilla farmers and across uh, Indonesia uh, to, um, to, to, to basically make more money. Um, and we do that by uh, supporting them through education, learning opportunities. Um, basically, they don't have access to health care, um, you know, and um, that is a travesty um, uh, in, in, in the modern world. But sadly, um, Bali has a, has a whole host of problems which uh, are probably all beyond my, um, my grasp. But if I can make a, a small dent in, 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 the, uh, in the problems that uh, the Balinese people have and across Indonesia, uh, then for us, that's a, that's a big thing. You'll notice that the, uh, the, banana, uh, the banana loaf is wrapped in a reusable waxed cotton wrap. Um, so it's quite a big piece. Um, but you could actually cut it, uh, cut it up, uh, and uh, you could uh, you could use it to wrap your sandwiches or something like that um, in order to help you uh, reduce your uh, single use plastic uh, consumption. Um, I don't want to rattle on too long because I've probably just wasted half of your break time. Um, but um, I hope you enjoy uh, these little treats. If you really enjoyed them. Um, you can get in touch with us on all the socials, which will be all kind of labelled here. By this point, you'll already be on our website. Um, reach out to us. We're always uh, keen to help anybody uh, in whatever way that we feel that we can. Um, and if uh, if you didn't like anything, uh, then you can also email us as well. Uh, I won't be offended. Um, I uh, I have quite thick skin, thankfully, except there. I think it's, it's quite thin still. Um, but yeah, uh, a huge thank you uh, to all of you guys doing such great work all the time. Um, I hope that this uh, maybe brings a little bit of uh, extra cheer uh, to your uh, to your break this evening. And um, yeah, um, uh, I really like to uh, possibly, if invited back, to do this for you again. Uh, we also take requests. Um, any questions or on the allergens especially, um, get in touch. Um, otherwise, uh, thanks for your service and um, celebrate what would have been my, uh, my, my granny's uh, 98th birthday today uh, with a slice of cake in her honour. Thanks, guys.